Terry, welcome to Behind the Scenes. As the program coordinator for uh, computer aided design, can you tell us a little bit more about that and uh, what students might expect there? Yes, the computer aided design program at Delta College is an advanced certificate program. So the main goal of the program would be to prepare students for employment. So they would gain employment as a CAD technician or a CAD detailer in what seems to be an ever widening array of occupational settings. And how many faculty teach here at Delta College? Presently there are three full-time faculty members and we do use adjunct faculty as needed. And how many students are involved in the program? In the first level CAD classes there are about 50 students per semester and they come from a lot of different programs because a lot of programs have this CAD class in their programs. So the first level CAD class might have welding students and architectural students and manufacturing and mechanical engineering students all you know sitting side by side in the same class. In the upper level classes about another 30 to 40 students per semester. And um, I'm not real familiar with it so could you tell me a little bit more it would be designing things um, that then industry would build or how does what what are the students um, designing? Again in the first level class they're just learning the software okay so they do work on mechanical and architectural drawings but the drawings are not selected for the content they're selected for the um, software concepts you know and to teach the software concepts in a sequential manner now when they get into their area their chosen field the mechanical and um, manufacturing students would be using a solid modeling program like SolidWorks and they would be modeling machine parts and designing them and things like that and the architectural students would use a building information modeling program. Um, they're presently using Revit. And would students then normally or, or have the opportunity to go on to get a four-year degree? Yes, they would. After completing the CAD certificate, uh, they may find themselves like almost halfway to an associate degree here at Delta. Um, and then sometimes the other way around, a student who's working on an associate degree um, looks and finds out, well, if I just take like two more classes, I could add the CAD certificate to my associate degree, okay. which makes me more marketable. And then, yes, they go on to several different um, four-year colleges, depending on what their chosen field is. And what uh, sorts of careers might uh, someone interested in, in uh, CAD get into? A person who completes the CAD certificate they would be preparing drawings perhaps for an architect or a mechanical engineer or drawings that are going right out um, to the manufacturing floor and some of them end up being project managers. And tell us a little bit about yourself. How did you get into the field and how long have you been teaching? Well my first degree was the associate degree in architectural technology from here at Delta College. Great and I worked for several years as a CAD technician for an architecture firm um, in Saginaw and then as a CAD detailer for a construction firm in Midland and then went back to school to get my bachelor's and eventually my master's. Are there many women in the classes? There are more females that go into the architectural field than into the mechanical engineering and manufacturing. I'd like to see a lot more. And does that follow over into the workforce as well? There are, in the workforce, I would say there are more women than there were 10 years ago. Still, it's predominantly male. Is there anything else that you would like to tell us about the CAD program or the field itself? I know it's, it's an overused phrase, but here at Delta, our labs really are state of the art. The latest release of the software is loaded every fall Every three years, the labs get brand new hardware, which is imperative for running you know, these robust CAD programs. And we've recently acquired a 3D printer, which uh, the students can design something using the software. The printer prints it out in ABS plastic. 
they've already it's already been a learning tool and they've already designed things like a cell phone cover that didn't have an opening big enough for the cell phone to slip in you know or mating parts that needed a larger or smaller tolerance so um, it's been a learning tool they go back to the software they make the changes we reprint and they've learned something about design wonderful I'm wondering if that if I might have the opportunity to go into one of the classes and kind of see it firsthand we would be happy to have you. Welcome to CAD 114, Leanne. Um, this is, uh, we're using AutoCAD in this particular class. It's a 2D drawing program, and the students begin by um, learning um, to use the commands on these mechanical parts. So this is one of the earlier drawings. Okay. And if you would select the circle command right up there. Okay. Type 0, comma 0, and press Enter. Okay, and okay. that's the center of the circle. Okay. Now press 50, that'll be the radius. Okay, now okay. several students are going to talk you through some more parts of the outline. Now we're going to do tangent lines. Okay. So select the line. Okay. And then you're going to shift and hold that and then right click on the mouse. And then go to, you're going to hit tangent. Oh, and okay. hop over and see right and then you'll see a line and then right edge. There. Click that. Okay. And then drag over. One hit shift, right click again. And then and just then hit, click. Just hit the yep. Okay. And then now you're gonna hit escape. And then now we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Well, our next step here is to use tangent, tangent, radius circles, and what we want to do is select our tan our circle option, I mean. Okay. Then we go down to tangent tangent radius. Okay. And then what we want to do is first we have to select that select a part of the circle right there, bottom part of the smaller circle. And then we want to move on to here, select the bottom part of the bigger circle. Okay. And then we want to type in our radius. Our radius here would be 50. There we have our first circle right there. Okay. And then we want to add in another one. Okay. We're going to do the same process, but this one's going to be 40 for our radius. Okay. And then there we have our tangent, tangent, radius circles. Excellent. How long have you been doing this? Well, this is my first time doing is AutoCAD. It? Is it? Do you like it? Yeah, enjoy it very much. Good. What we're going to do now is we're going to trim these circles so that you just have this little uh, this radius here. Okay. I'm going to have you come up here and click this, not that, this thing here. My bad. Okay. And then push enter. And then you're going to select out here somewhere. Out here? Yep. Is that good? Yep, because it's going to cut on these. Oh, okay. And then you're going to click out here on this one, too. And then it cleared that, so you're all good. That's oh, really? That do. was it, huh? Yep. Simple cool. as that. How's it going over here? Looks pretty good. Great. Is CAD drawing what you thought it would be? It's a lot of fun. Thanks for letting me come into the class. Oh, you're welcome anytime. We'll see you next semester, okay? <laughs> okay.